Today we are going to learn how to make the berry cream cheese dessert that I made for you and put up on the website. We are going to be showing you how to create this recipe. Again, this recipe is from dlife.com. Okay, for this recipe, these are the items that you will be needing. You will need one cup cream cheese, fat free, one cup ricotta cheese, you will also need six Splenda, one teaspoon of grated orange peel, two tablespoons orange juice, six cups of fresh sliced strawberries, raspberries, and or blueberries, and eight ginger snap cookies broken. I've done most of the strawberries and I threw in the blueberries and raspberries. Now we're going to be cutting up what's left of the strawberries. You're going to want to take off the top part. Once you take off the top part, if you have a little slice like this, you can either do this with a knife or you can do it with what they call a little slicer, a mushroom slicer or egg slicer. Make sure you get the ones that have the blades on them and not the wires because the wires will not work. They will break. Just place your strawberry like so. Make sure it's in gently. Push down. And voila! Sliced strawberries. Let's go ahead and finish up the rest of them. This is a very easy recipe to make. It's very quick. It's somewhat like a parfait, but it is diabetic friendly. Again, you want to get the freshest strawberries, blueberries, and raspberries you can get, which means that they have to be in season usually around springtime and there we go we are done next we will want to go ahead and open up our cream cheese and add that to our food processor you can also use a blender a blender works fine in cases like this as you can see this cream cheese is kind of broken up the reason why is because I actually had this in the freezer, but I let it defrost. We'll go ahead and get all this out. There we go, that should be plenty. Next we have our ricotta cheese. We also We'll be throwing in there the teaspoon of grated orange peel, the two tablespoons of orange juice, and last but not least, we will put in our six Splenda. You'll want to use, of course, the package okay I went ahead and added the six packages of Splenda already we're gonna go ahead and put it on our food processor top and turn it on until it's well blended let's take a look do it just a little bit longer again if you 
don't have a food processor, you can use a blender, a normal blender on uh, Frappe. Okay. Now, what we want to do, is we want to take this mixture, and we want to chill it for at least 4 to 24 hours. 4 hours at the minimum, 24 at the longest. Okay, our cream cheese topping, as you can tell, is a nice thick consistency, almost ice cream like. And we have our berry mixture right over here. We're going to go ahead and serve it up. Put about two and a half spoonfuls of the fruit mixture. And we'll top it with the cream cheese mixture. Like so. And now for the crushed ginger snap cookies. Just kind of sprinkle them over. There we go. And voila! Our berry cream cheese dessert. Let's go ahead and try it out. You may want to mix it. Mmm, that's good. You can try this recipe at DiabeticCookbookBlog.com.